Hey everyone, just wanted to uh, give you another update on the chicks. Uh, we're at two weeks old, actually 15 days. And uh, well, I knew that brooder was the lowest small that I had set up for them in the first place. Oh, get my fingers out of the way here. And uh, so I ended up having to go downstairs in the uh, garage area and build one, which still is not gonna be quite big enough. It is for now. But we're going to have to uh, get this coop done and get the heat lamps and everything hooked up in it to uh, keep them going. Uh, I'll show you where we... If you all remember from the first three videos, they was in this 250-gallon uh, stock tank. And, uh, yeah, they just uh, quick outgrew it. And... Uh, They were trying to fly in it and I actually had every time I'd stick my arm down in there, they'd jump up on my arm and and uh, look at me like, are you going to get me out of this thing? So uh, I noticed they had been picking on each other quite a bit, uh, pulling out the down and stuff on each other. Uh, they just didn't have the room to do anything. So take you down here to the... Uh, barn area the garage area and show you what I did it was just simple uh, leftover scraps I had from uh, putting up the coop uh, about 17 inches tall Turn some lights on in here and uh, four foot by four foot so uh, give me 16 foot of space but Let me show you what we ended up with is this. Uh, it's just a 4x4 four four box. Uh, but a couple uh, mesh screen lids on it. They both open. Uh, I need some change yet to keep them from flopping all the way back. Um, but as long as I let them back easy, they don't, they don't bust off the hinges yet. Uh, but as you can see, I got their little heater down there. Uh, some gravel for them. Uh, their food's over here and over here, and then uh, uh, give them a little bit of uh, wheatgrass, which they seem to love at this age. Uh, their water's over there, and I put them a perch bar in there. Not thinking, you know, they're that young, they, they probably wouldn't like it, but as you can see, they're loving it. Um, let's go ahead and open this one up and get a better view of them. These guys fly across this thing like there ain't no tomorrow. They chase each other. They have, they're they just having a blast in here. So much better area for them. And as you can tell, I didn't put down the sawdust. I put down sand. Uh, much easier to clean. And this little guy right there wants to get out. <laughs> uh, I opened this earlier to put the, some food in the bowls down there. And they were jumping up on the screen and... Everything else, and look, they're, they're trying to find a way out over there right now. I said, hey, you opened it. So, but they're doing really good. Um, they're liking this. Uh, it's got the heater there. And, of course, my barn is heated, or my whole house is actually heated with that double barrel burner. So, they're right next to the heat. Uh, I hung them up a light up here. The light I had upstairs, I hung a light up there for them for right now. So, that... that it, it's not completely dark in here all day. I don't have to run the big lights. Uh, right now I got all the overhead lights on, but um, they seem to be doing fine. I come down here about nine o'clock last night. They were sleeping good uh, underneath the heater there. So I went ahead and shut the light off and they chirped a bit being in a new place for the first night. But uh, today I come down here, they were just flying all over the place in here jumping up on the perch over there as you can see them on and, and uh, uh, they seem to hang out on top of that heater pad hopefully in the next couple of days my cap for that will come so they'll quit uh, doing their duties on the top of it but uh, the sand has made it easier I don't have to clean that feeder there out it was always full of sawdust this one was always getting full of sawdust. Of course, the, the water was always getting full of sawdust. Now it gets a little sand in the bottom, but that's really not going to hurt them. 
Um, you know, I'm still going to change the water out on them, give them fresh water every day. Um, but uh, uh, it's nowhere near as bad. It doesn't have the, the floaties from the, from the sawdust or anything like that in there. So it's much better. Uh, actually, I don't, I don't know if chickens can get happy, but they actually seem like they were happier this morning down here than they have been up there. Uh, they're not as cooped up, but this won't last them but a couple maybe two three weeks before they get too big for it But by then it should be getting pretty warm out and uh, we should be able to uh, uh, Get them into the coop and I'll take that light and put the heat lamp back in it put it out there and I will secure it really good so it cannot fall down start a fire because we will go back to the uh, sawdust out there I'm not gonna put sand in, in the coop uh, I may put sand in the run but I'm not gonna put it in the coop and uh, but yeah this is this is working really good I like having a double lid I can get into either side um, and when I'm done with it there's just a few screws that comes apart and I got my wood back and I can still use it to build uh, the rest of that coop and stuff out there uh but basically the the hen box which i am in no hurry for we got a long time for that yet so anyway y'all have a great day god bless just wanted to give you an update real quick on uh 15 day old chicks